This afternoon, we're talking with the co-founder of Gramavox. Located in the 1871 incubator in the Merchandise Mart, the company's developed a Bluetooth speaker that harkens back to the iconic gramophone. And we are talking with co-founder Pavan Bapu today on the Noon Business Hour. Pavan, uh, welcome to our program. Uh, it's a pleasure to be on. Tell us, uh, what, how did you get the idea that, that the world needed this? Why, why did you develop this? <laughs> well... It was about a year ago, a year and a half ago, I was walking down in Wicker Park with a friend of mine, the kind of mecca of hipsterdom here in Chicago, and I came across this antique store, and there I saw an old 1920s uh, kind of radio speaker horn, and, and, and there I saw something just beautiful, just this visceral beauty, and so I went on inside, I purchased it, I took it home, I kind of Frankensteined it back to life, and it just emitted this beautiful, vintage, organic sound. And I, I saw an opportunity here in, in preserving the past. And I said, there's got to be a way to, to capture this, but, but make it accessible to people today. So we created the world's first Bluetooth gramophone. It, I'm looking at a picture of it, a beautiful design, sleek, uh, kind of Art Deco, Art Nouveau uh, looking. Uh, but tell me about the sound. Absolutely. So we actually studied the acoustics of the original uh, 1920s uh, horn speakers uh, to really capture that same warmth, that vintage organic sound. So uh, we went to town on that. So our current Bluetooth gramophone sounds and feels just like it did back in the 20s. Um, when you well, say I, that, when luckily, we can't remember but, that. Well, I mean, whenever I've heard recordings of gramophones, it's always been kind of a filtered sound, maybe a little bit better than, kind of scratchy. than telephone. Well, that's the recording. but. Uh, but maybe a little better than than uh, telephone quality. Is that was that the sound you were looking for? Or were you looking for a full dimension reproduction? Yeah, uh, certainly. I mean, leveraging some modern technology, we have certain privileges. But what was fascinating, and in, in studying the acoustics of the original kind of horn, uh, we we were, were able to reproduce this kind of this warmth and a certain characteristic that just kind of colors um, contemporary songs as well as songs back in the past in a way that was almost meant to be heard. Um, so it's actually a blast just hearing contemporary hits through this. And we got a, a great validation from this when we were at the Grammy Awards. We were actually backstage at the 56th Annual Grammy Awards last year. And we had uh, artists from a wide variety of genres kind of hear that, that vintage organic sound. Um, and it is certainly a sound that is one that you need to experience. But we had Lord, Macklemore, Daft Punk with electronic music. Um, and, and, and Gloria Gaynor, the Queen of Soul, all kind of hear their own songs through it and just say that they've never experienced something as rich and as this, warm this, and as fulfilling as the gramophone. Really cool. Now, what do you do about stereo out of a single uh, uh, output speaker? So we want to stay true to the logic and to the aesthetics of the original gramophone. And in that respect, it's a single channel uh, kind of horn speaker. And for us, and on a high level, you know, Gramavox, we are a, at, at our heart, a luxury home decor startup in 1871 that reimagines vintage design with modern technology. So you're buying this first and foremost as a beautiful accent piece to kind of color your home or your office environment. And secondly, you're getting an opportunity to have a time machine, which, which takes you back to appreciate a sound from a different era. Well, very creative idea. Thanks for joining us and best, of, best wishes to you, Pavan Bapu. Oh, and it costs about $400. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we want to mention that. Uh, Co-founder of Gramavox here in Chicago. Still to come, some people watch Super Bowl for the game.